Hey there guys, what's up? It's your boy Pokes 12 back with another YouTube video for you guys on your channel. Today's video is going to be us doing our Premier League Team of the Season prediction. So as you guys can see on our thumbnail, we've got Bamford, Lingard and Rashford. I'm going to be going through each individual player and predicting what I think will be their Team of the Season cards for Team of the Season when it comes out in a couple weeks. Because obviously you guys know the hype is actually getting real now. Obviously for birthday promo is slowly but surely dying out. And I just thought bring you guys a bit of a different video basing it around team of the season so let without further ado let's get right into the video the first player for the team of the season prediction is going to be none other than jesse lingard yes jesse lingard it's been on some crud lately some outstanding form being at West Ham, obviously on loan from us, unfortunately, I don't think we were going to be getting him back at the end of this season because he's, I think he's enjoying himself too much uh, at West Ham, but obviously his team of season card, as you guys can see on the screen, obviously created by myself as well, using the Legacy Foot template, so shout out Legacy Foot, or Legacy FIFA I think it actually is, but yeah, obviously I gave him 93 pace, 91 dribbling, 87 shooting, 75 defending, 92 passing, 85 fizz, 91 overall card his card looks unreal like obviously also that uh, dynamic image i put on the card looks sick but let me know what you guys think is going to be his game his in-game card when team season does roll out because this will be a card i'll definitely want because you guys know i'm a huge manchester united fan not necessarily a big fan of jesse lingard actually but talking about united and stuff and getting players that could while well, part united or still are part united is always big for me so yeah obviously what Based it off his season so far, he's got plenty of informs in FIFA since he's been at West Ham as well. I think two or three, so that's always good. Also been close second or third for a couple player of the month awards as well, based on your guys' votes in the community. So that's always a good mark to have at the back of your head for becoming a, a team of the season card. But also just, like I said, being an all-round in the Premier League for West Ham right now, helping them do so well in the Premier League. Don't actually know where they are in the league as of this moment, but I do believe he has had a big impact in their squad and obviously deserves this card. So if you guys agree with me, let me know in the comment section down below. I'll be back with the second card right now. Right then guys, second card is gonna be none other than Patrick Bamford from Leeds United. As you guys can see on the screen right now, obviously, again, the dynamic image, it's the same image as I got in the backdrop, but it's, it's probably the best image you can get at Bamford at the moment. But yeah, I've given him an 89 overall card with a 92 pace, 90 dribbling, 94 shooting, 54 defending, 87 passing, 91 physicality. Let me know if those are a bit too high or a bit too low. Whatever you guys think, because you guys aren't allowed to forget. Team of Seasons end game. Literally, what comes after Team of Season? Footies. That's it. So this is basing it off an end game card for him. He's had three informs. His latest inform is an 84 overall. I can't really see him getting over an 85, 86 as an inform. Uh, towards the end of this season so that's why i've given him an 89 overall maybe he could even go up to like a 90 or even 91 if ea are kind kind to us but yeah based off leads he's been in, uh, insane for leads honestly this season he's been on fire going a plethora of goals plethora of assists he's, he's got as well obviously him and um rodrigo moreno up front have been insane for leads not only that you got rafinha as well but yeah as the main striker i wanted to definitely put him in because i think he's definitely got a big shout for team of the season and obviously as well coming euros i reckon he might even creep into the england squad let me know if you agree with me down in the comments as we get into the third and final card of this video Right then guys, third and final card is none other than Marcus Rashford. Yes, the boy, the United legend. I'm calling him a legend. He is sick for us. Obviously, as you guys can see, I've given him a 96 overall card with 99 pace, 95 dribbling, 97 shooting, 60 defending, 95 passing, 92 physicality. Let me know if you guys agree with that card. Obviously, it looks juiced to hell. Like, it looks incredibly juiced but yeah obviously i'd like to see him get a team of the season card he's helped us tremendously this season he even played through injuries for us because ole uh hasn't like switched him out because we don't have that squad depth at united at the moment so obviously it's gonna have to play as many games as possible but yeah i mean we're, we're playing the quarterfinals of the europa league tonight against granada so that's gonna be an interesting watch for me because i'm definitely gonna be watching that but yeah, apart from that, obviously he's had a great season for us. Not as good as last season, but definitely a good season still for us at United this season. And obviously, in my opinion, deserves a team of the season. Definitely a big contender for a team of the season card, along with the likes of Mane 
and some other left mids, Sterling. So yeah, I just thought I put him in. I had to put a United player in. Had to. So he's definitely the one I can see definitely getting a team of the season card. But with that said, guys, this is going to do it for the video. If you guys have liked this video, please make sure to hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you guys want to see more prediction videos like this in the future, let me know. Because I can do some around the Euros, just in case we do maybe get a Euro promo at the end of like team of the season. But yeah, I might do a prediction on that in the coming days. So yeah, like I said, if you guys have liked this video, please hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys on my next one.